League leaders Auckland City were off to English Park this week to see if they could maintain their unbeaten record at the Dragon's Den. Canterbury coach Lee Padmore had set his side up to defend from the halfway line and strike on the counter. His tactics almost paid dividends early as Harris Air burst forward, but Callum Ferguson's effort was a tame one. Auckland City were enjoying the lion's share of possession and it was backs to the wall stuff for the Canterbury defence, epitomised by Tom Schwartz, who was throwing himself at everything. David Brown was having a good first half, and although his free kick was straight at the wall, his second attempt was a better effort. Brown again caused the Dragons defence problems with his movement. Having first tried to set up his teammates, he decided to take matters into his own hands with a shot that was too close to Danny Knight. Canterbury's best chance of the first half fell to former All-White Aaron Clapham after he was fed from the left by Ferguson. Half time and Padmore would have been content that they had held Auckland scoreless, but would they be able to keep it up for the full 90 minutes? David Brown started the second half where he left off the first with some tantalising runs. It seemed only a matter of time and so it proved. Adam Mitchell leapt high and his header was deflected up onto the crossbar by the desperate defence. Mitchell then did well to get wide and deliver a cross which eventually got laid back to Mario Bielan. Bielan checked onto his left foot and put an unstoppable shot high into Knight's goal. It had taken over an hour, but City had the lead. Just five minutes later and that lead was extended. David Brown fed Jordan Vale inside and a strong running wing back got right to the goal line before sliding the ball to Maya Bevan, who made no mistake. The task just got more difficult for the home team. Mario Illich got himself into a scoring position after another run from Jordan Vale. He tried to pick his spot wide of Knight, but pushed it outside the post with the keeper struggling. The final goal of the day was a slick, incisive move. Berlanger played inside to Illich, whose first time ball was dummied by Lewis. That put Howison 1v1 with Knight, and he calmly put the ball between the legs of the keeper for a comprehensive 3-0 scoreline. It was time for one final flurry from the Dragons as Jacob Richards burst down the right, but Harris Ebb could only put the ball over the bar from close range. On a sticky pitch, I feel like we didn't manage to move the ball well, um, you know, switching sides to side, so I felt that really helped us, you know, execute the game plan we wanted to, you know, implement, and, you know, we were Second half, we were able to, you know, capitalise on some of the chances we had. So, you know, we're happy with the three points.